pure unbridled emotion there. Desiree Linden becomes the first American woman to win the Boston Marathon in 33 years. And here's where it gets even more special. Desi is from right here in Metro Detroit. What a moment. Yeah. Bernie's here now with, with this win, which came in horrible conditions. Well, and you didn't even mention the rain no, and the cold terrible, and everything yeah. else. You're right. They were terrible. The con uh, constant rain, temperatures in the mid-30s, winds gusting over 30 miles per hour. But the conditions sounded perfect for Desiree Linden, who's from Rochester Hills, but now makes her home in Charlevoix. We've got highlights of the finishes. Linda became the first American woman to win the Boston Marathon since 85. Her time, 2 hours, 39 minutes, 54 seconds. That's the slowest time since 1978. Linda said afterwards that her running partner helped her greatly early in the race. Honestly, at mile two, three, four, I didn't feel like I was going to even make it to the finish line. And I told her in the race, I said, you know, if there's anything I can do to help you out, let me know, because I, I might just drop out. Um, when you work together, you never know what's going to happen. And helping her helped me and kind of got my legs back from there. All right, there you go. That close, and she wins it. And Desi's win was celebrated back here in uh, Metro Detroit. Jason Coulthorpe caught up with one of her training partners to find out her secret to success. When Des Linden crossed the finish line today, it was all emotion. A two-time Olympian and runner-up in Boston and Chicago, Linden came from behind to take the lead around mile 21 and never looked back. Oh my gosh, it was so exciting. Dana Hetrick moved from Iowa to train with Linden and ran with her in last year's Boston Marathon. Every emotion, I think, came into play just because I knew how tough the conditions were um, and how, you know, how hard everyone works to get there. Linden trains as part of the Hanson's running team here in Metro Detroit, but this isn't the only place in Michigan she trains, which is why she was ready for those horrendous conditions today in Boston. Uh, her and her husband Ryan have a place up in Charlevoix, okay. so they do spend a lot of time up there. Um, and so I think we say how tough Michigan makes you, but I think Charlevoix makes you even tougher when you go that far north. A perfect setting for the type of runner Lyndon is. I don't know if I've ever met anyone as competitive or just as tough as she is. Um, she's the silent hunter, I think. She's very, um, she's quiet, but she's fierce. And an inspiration for those hoping to do what she's now the first American to do in 33 years. It makes you realize you gotta, as she would say, keep showing up and do the work, commit to the process, and the outcomes will follow. But it's all kind of part of the journey and, and putting in the effort. Wow. I think there's two reasons she won. One, uh, Charlotte, boy, she said about the last month or so, she trained up there. It's so what's going to get you better <laughs> ready yeah, for that? And true. two, she's a bourbon geek. So. Yes. I mean, anyone's a bourbon geek, you got to be warm during There's that any race. any reason to crack open that bottle of Pappy Van Winkle? Man, it's she tonight. She's got a couple of them, too. Yeah, yeah, absolutely yeah. tonight. That's, That's really great.